also a dog. Also a dog. Because they're really crazy. <laughs> and we're really crazy. Really crazy. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Wallace. Today I'm gonna ask you if you could compare yourself with any animal, which would it be and why? A monkey for intelligence? I guess the monkey, just for evolution's sake. I guess uh, to use the common trope, I would say like a fox, because I'm always trying to be clever. I feel like I'm always, uh, I'm not very smart, so I have to figure out like a way around the really hard problem in a clever way. A mix of a flamingo and a sloth, because um, I like like taking things easy and like going like going with things slow. Um, <clears throat> but I also am like very spirited and like to like have fun with things. I would compare myself to our dog Lola uh, because she's just the sweetest. Can I curse? You can edit it. She's the sweetest f***ing dog. We love her so much. It would probably be a dog because of how energetic and like. Um, yeah, how energetic and fun they are. Dogs, because I think they're loyal and so am I. Maybe a tiger. And uh, why? Because I think it's, um, at the same time, it's a very light, careful, and it can be aggressive as well. I think a lion. Maybe a dolphin. <laughs> a dolphin? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, they're like funny animals. They're, they, they know how to live life. They, they're you social. Yes, yeah, yeah, so they're so social, yeah. and then they're so... Friendly, I yeah, mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> totally agree with that. I feel like I would be a mix of like an otter and a dolphin because they're both like very like community based animals from like my understanding. I could be wrong, but from what I've learned they are. And like dolphins seem really playful and adventurous and like otters, like they all like hold hands when they sleep and stuff too so they like drift away from each other. So like that whole aspect of like family being close to people like you care about, I feel like for me is like pretty applicable. So I'd say dolphin as well as Lali because I like being around with people. Mm -hmm. Especially dolphin is like, you know, social as she said. And she really likes, uh, they really like being around and they really can't do without like any other people's help. So, mm. They're so I think, friendly. yeah, I think I can identify with the delf dolphin. I guess I would say an anteater. I think an anteater just because I enjoy eating small things in small proportions as well as I enjoy taking care of people. Especially like the mothers. The mothers take care of the cubs really closely. Okay. And uh, they have a big nose too, so yeah. Um, I think for me a squirrel because uh, like when, <laughs> <laughs> when, I was a kid, when I was a kid they always, uh, my family, all, I liked squirrels a lot and my family always said like, oh you are a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, and I like to eat a lot um, yeah. and like I, like sometimes I get like intimidated by things and I try to run, that's my first instinct. So. Yeah, that's why I think I'm a squirrel. <laughs> I think I'm more like a cat. I'm a little more temperamental. Um, and yeah, like I'm more mercurial than Jared. Are dogs and cats compatible? <laughs> well, that's a good question because we had dogs Sometimes. And cats. Sometimes. Based learn. on their temperaments. They can learn. They can. Yeah. Uh, 